Harvesting comfrey leaves to go and make comfrey fertilizer. Yeah, that organic fertilizer for our managu and everything that we are growing on the farm. So this is how comfrey looks like. And right now, I'm here to harvest it. You know, you just pick these branches, few of them, or depending on how much fertilizer you want. The more fertilizer you need, the more comfrey you harvest. And they don't take too long to grow, by the way, so you shouldn't be afraid of growing them. Once you plant a few tubers, you're gone. You're done, you're done, you're done. And you can harvest them for for the fertilizer when they look like this. When they are as green, when they have withered, you can just put them in your bucket or in your barrel or in your drum. And then you wait for at least 21 days. Some do even two weeks. And that's good. Yeah, we are harvesting the comfrey leaves. In Kikuyu, we know them as mafake. Yeah, this is what we are talking about. Comfrey leaves. To go and make that organic fertilizer. When you have this, you shouldn't be buying too much of, of, of the commercial fertilizers. Because these ones are going to be providing you with all the nutrients you want. As long as you do your soil test, then you know what your garden needs. You can just go ahead and make your own fertilizer without having to buy organic. I mean, those certified, certified and expensive, you know. Yeah, if you want to just make your own, go ahead and do it. This one is, I'm going to put it in water for at least 21 days. Fermentation, and then I'm going to add some tithonia. That's it. So this is what I have harvested today. And this one I'm going to put in a, in a, half, in half a drum of water, which then I'm going to use from the farm after at least one month. That is 21 days and it will be ready. This one has a lot of nitrogen. Oh my God. Is it, did I pick some stinging nettle over here? So that's it. That's what I'm going to put in the water. So here is my comfrey tea. A combination of a lot of weeds, by the way. Yeah, that are just outside the farm. Even in your own garden. And some that you have to incorporate. So this one has been here for at least 21 days. Although I have been adding, adding leaves. For example, the, the comfrey leaves that I've just picked from the garden. I'm just going to add them here but from now i'm not going to add anything else and now get to let it sit for at least 21 days so you can just keep adding and adding and adding because you know you're not spraying your garden every day just to make sure that you have enough manure or enough fertilizer comfrey tea to apply in your garden so this is what uh, the thing is looking like and let me just add the comfrey leaves so I'm just going to mix them up. So to mix, I have this stick. I just press them on the inside. It's going to be smelling uh, because of the decomposition, but it ain't bad thing, you know. These are just organic things available in the garden, and everybody of you, or every one of you, can be able to keep it, grow them. And use them to make fertilizer. You don't have to be buying expensive fertilizer every now and then, no. Sometimes you can just make your very own. So it's it's bubbly like that because I've been adding these leaves uh, often for the past like one week. I've been coming here and making some additions. That's why it is having these bubbles. But now I'm going to let it sit for at least 21 days for it to decompose. The only thing I'm not going to add here is wood ash. Yes, wood ash. And then from there, we're done with our combination. We let it sit and ferment. It decomposes until all this is over, like it's done, done. You don't find any of these. I let it sit until they are all decomposed you see how some have finished up 
yeah that way so we are now going to let this sit here for 21 days i think i'm going to give you a close-up of what is happening around here right yes so this is organic fertilizer that you can use in your garden to just grow anything anything that you are growing in your garden you can use this to grow it and you will be having some free fertilizer right yeah when you allow it to sit for a long period of time uh, this thing uh, decomposes everything decomposes and it is easier for you to use it in the garden unlike if i were to use it right now you see it is having this thing green things that are not decomposed yet i'd have to use a lot of energy to sift them out to sieve them out but when you allow it to sit for a longer period of time then it is going to be clear the only things that are going to be available are worms like i had shown you in my previous video there are those worms and those are not harmful and they are easier to sieve so the longer you let it stay the better and the longer you let it stay the more effective it becomes it's just like brewing beer <laughs> i think yeah the more you let it stay the sweeter it becomes so that's it that's just about the comfrey tea combination of comfrey tithonia stinging nato and a lot of things that you can use in the garden for free or for free the only thing that you have to do is to invest in growing the crops yeah growing these leaves growing the tithonia if you want some tithonia if you want some comfrey leaves or comfrey plants hit me up and i'll send them over to you in the meantime bye bye This is how I've filtered, or how you can filter the fertilizer through a cloth. This is a cotton cloth, something that you're no longer using, or maybe something that you're using that you feel you can use it to do it. Because look at this, this one you can hardly sieve it with the normal sieves, they won't do the job. But look at that, such a nice job. Let's see the end product. Voila. That is our fertilizer. So if it was, uh, her, it was if it had overstayed, it wouldn't be having too much of this, and it would be black. But you can see it's greenish because I had put some new leaves. But that's awesome, 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 awesome fertilizer. Make your own fertilizers. <laughs>